My name is Judith. Today, I'm going to help you understand the language an artist uses to speak to us. We will begin exploring with the language of art. You may know some of these words, but let's figure out what an artist is trying to tell us while we are looking. These are a few ways artists help us to understand their artworks. Color, line, shape, texture. Have you heard some of these words before? Let's look at what they mean in an artwork. We're going to look at a painting by an artist named Grace Hardigan. The painting is called Giftwares. Grace Hardigan lived across the street from this shop, so she saw it every day. Maybe you've been to a giftware store where there's lots of stuff to buy for your house. She wanted to tell us about this shop, so she used tools from the language of art. What are some colors Grace Hardigan uses? Can you see what I see? Let's find, let's find some blues. Some reds. Some black. Yellow. White. There's lots of white. Some orange. And some green. What kinds of lines do you see? Can you see what I see? Let's find some straight lines. Some curved lines. Some thick lines. Some thin lines. Some slanted lines. Some horizontal lines. And some vertical lines. Something amazing happens with these lines. They sometimes connect to make shapes. Can you see what I see? Let's find some shapes. How about some circles? Some ovals. Some rectangles. Some of these shapes make objects. Do you see some lamps? Some vases? A basket? Some bowls? Tables? An orange? Do these shapes look realistic or abstract? And remember, realistic looks more like a photograph and, and an abstract makes shapes and colors that do not look anything like we see in our visual reality. Did Grace Hardigan make some shapes realistic and others abstract? Which ob objects look real to you? Are you thinking the lamps, the vases, the basket, the flowers, the orange? I do too. Can you name the objects that look abstract? Hmm, that's really hard for me. There are lots of things that are abstract shapes. Can you see them too? 
Sometimes an artist likes to combine realistic and abstraction in one painting. Grace Hardigan did that in Gift Swears. If you could touch this painting, how do you think it would feel? Do you think it feels smooth or maybe bumpy and rough? Maybe both rough and smooth. This is called texture. That's what's fun about how an artist uses the language of art. There are lots of great answers for the very same questions. If you were looking into the window of the shop, how do you think it would feel inside? If you went into the shop, where would you like to stand? If you were inside the shop, what would you like to touch? Today, we learn some important words to understand Grace Hardigan's painting, Giftwares. Color, lines, shape, and texture. We learned about realistic and abstract. When I go to a museum to see art, I try to remember these words to help me understand what an artist is trying to tell me. I'm so happy we spent this time together today.